I'm going to give the status of implementation of the executive order number three of 2023. This is the third week of operationalization of the implementation of the first phase of the executive order number three of 2023. The first phase entails removal of cattle belonging to the migrant cattle keepers who are not who have not fenced their land as well as cattle belonging to Balalu grazing on government land including Lakan, Aswa, and Maruzi ranches and Guadapoyo game reserves. Since we started this exercise of impounding cattle from non-compliant Balalo, so far 4,691 cattle have been impounded from the districts of Gulu, Amoru, Nwoya, Pader, Lamuo, and Apache. I can give the breakdown from Amoru district at the moment, there are 100 animal, uh, 457 animals held at a temporary impounding ground. 147 animals have been evicted, and this gives a total of 604. In Oya, there are 405 animals evicted. In Gulu, there are 510 animals evicted and 849 are being held in a temporary holding ground. In Pader, 570 animals have been evicted. In Lamo, 158 animals have been evicted. And in Apache, 1,596 animals have been evicted. According to our standard operating procedures, once the cattle farmer has been identified by the district security team as non-compliant, which means that he does not have four strands of barbed wire around the farm or is found grazing on government land, he or she is issued with an eviction notice by the DVO and given three days within which to look for transport and exit with the animals. So far, seven cattle keepers have been issued with exit permits by the DVO in Gulu and Amoru districts and have taken their cattle from the region to districts of Nakasongola, Chakwanzi, Hoima, and others have taken their animals to the abattoirs in Kampala. The DVOs are requested to work with the local cattle keepers to also fence their land. It is for safety and protection of the cattle. His Excellency the President has also directed again two days ago that abandoned cattle should be auctioned and the proceeds remitted to the government consolidated fund. Cattle that will take more than three days without being taken away will be treated as abandoned cattle. As you are aware, the executive order banned commercial charcoal burning and trade. However, we continue to impound truckloads of charcoal and the most recent being in Amuru district where trailers had loaded 1,100 bags of charcoal heading to the markets. This must stop. As instructed before, we are going to implement the executive order in totality. Therefore, the implementation team must intensify the operations in this area of charcoal as well. We have set up a complaints desk at this office, my office, office of the Prime Minister, to receive and process all complaints relating to the implementation of the executive order. And so we ask people, please report any of these matters that require our attention in writing to our office, and we shall look into it. 
the implementation of the executive order is also going on very well. And like we saw some reports in the newspapers, we have not halted any exercise in Amuru district or any other district where the cattle population has been. And so I would like you to take this report and report correctly because we saw some media group reporting a wrong information.